covering last night, did you put? This is day four, good morning, it's Saturday the 6th of July and this morning we're going to go, or today, we're going to go and see Adrian's Wall, Angel of the North and uh, generally ride this glorious countryside again. So uh, we got back yesterday afternoon, wet, or yesterday evening, after the uh, it caught in the rain coming back. And we had a wet day yesterday, wet afternoon yesterday, and it's all dried off now. So uh, for dinner last night, um, had the pork belly with apple sauce and vegetables which was uh, delicious didn't have a starter because of the fish and chips in I made so uh, had a nice uh, made and a pudding and I had the uh, raspberry or special meringue again I made meringue with fresh cream which was uh, flipping lovely and that uh, three or four pints of John Smith and then uh, in bed for 9.30 again so today's weather looks uh, looks like it's going to be lovely temperature at the moment 20 past 9 and it's 15.5 uh, degrees nice blue sky with dappled cloud today the rest of fire's looking nice and blue. So Rob's not come out with us this morning, he's got his separate ways, he's going to visit a Dalek somewhere, uh, around Hex somewhere I think. Got to look at a Papier Mache Dalek. Don't ask me anymore about what that means, but that's where he's gone. Um, so that's today's plan. And then tomorrow, unfortunately, uh, we've got to go home. We had another lovely week, well, oh, half a week really, four days for another year. Always sad when they come to an end. But uh, let's not worry about that now, we've got today to enjoy. And of course, there's the ride out. So, bit more to do yet. So 
we're off to get fuel first thing and then once we're fueled up we'll, uh, we'll be headed to the first destination Undulating road. Last mark, unfortunately, he carried on following the car when we all swung round to the left. So we're meeting him at the next petrol station stop. This is about eight miles, I think. Something like that. Tree tunnel. Score. Oh, this is a good one. Oh. That's uh, seven, that one, I think. Gilsford.
that is cyclist. This is Holt Whistle, well, the sign just said Centre of Britain. So, be googling that when I get home to see why it's the Centre of Britain. I thought Tamworth was about the Centre of Britain. So, need to go and do my research and find out why this place is the Centre of Britain. Still on our way to catch up with uh, or find Mark. Very pleasant little place. Right, so we're fueled up again, and the next stop is Adrian's Wall. Rob's back with us, and Mark as well. Rob's meant to see his Dalek. Mark's found his way back to where we all are. So the gang are back together.
Rose Brood. What a strange name for a place. I've heard twice cooked chips, but uh, never twice beer really. Right, having got, arrived at Vindalanda car park, we decided that we were too tight to pay £8.25 to go and look at the museum. So, uh, Kev reckons he knows where there's a bit of wall to go and look at. So we've had a bit of a debate, and uh, Mark, as the, uh, as the Brick Lane member of the gang, so therefore it's uh, Bushman's only for Mark to look at brick walls. Mark is going to lead us to where Kev thinks there's some wall to look at. So, let's see. The search for Adrian's wall continues. Twice brewed brew house. I think this road around me because it's straight as a flipping dart. So we might see something around me today. Here we go. If Kev was right. I could definitely see some bricks. Any wolves here, cows? Should stress a few of them out.
Ja. Looks a bit wallish. We're parking here, boys. I'm so carefree. I was counting sheep, looking at them. And I saw the colours of the cows. The grass was weaving and blowing around. Includes our visit to uh, Adrian's Wall. Rob's got a bit of trouble with his bike and his indicators and display and lights are not working. Fortunately it's started and running but he's got no uh, controls or signals so we need to keep him in the middle so our next stop is to go and find a, a calf for a cup of tea and maybe a sandwich or something but that's another uh, location we can tick off our list
Right, so we've just had a bit of lunch. That was nice. Had a prawn and rosemary sauce sandwich. And that's given us a bit of sustenance now for the journey back. I think we're planning to go and have a look at a tree or something. Mark's taking us to look at a tree. So uh, that could prove interesting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to probably take the same route back. We'll try and retrace our footsteps back that we did this morning to get down here. Uh, it's one minute past three. I must reset the clock on this to get it showing the right time. One minute past three. And it's 20 degrees centigrade. And it's been great again. Another lovely day. And I can't believe it's nearly over again for another year. So we're going to go find out what this tree is. This appears to be the tree we've come to look at over on the left. I don't know whether the camera's picking it up or not. That's it, I think, over there. Hopefully the camera can see it. If we turn round, we can see it in the other direction. That's this road seems to go on for miles. When I get home, I'll have to find out what that tree is and why it's so special. tree we're back in the direction now and I think that tree is somewhere over on the right in a minute it's not up that one not there there it is Right, come on, severe dip. There's some beautiful, lush countryside over there.
Andrew Castleton from the other direction. different holder back at uh, digs now Real fantastic day we're gonna try and pop and have a look at some viewing point that's uh, on here on the right somewhere we just need to keep an eye out for that and uh, if we can we'll go up and have a look at it or we'll see what the view is but, uh, about uh, three or four miles down the road is when we're back in the digs now. Uh, 20 to 6 at the current time. Uh, 20 to 5, what am I going about? 20 to 5. That's slightly earlier today. those little glimpses of the reservoir if you hear the trees on the left there it is again never tire of looking at that viewpoint. Oh, Joe's not going to like this surface.
<laughs> Elf Kirk viewpoint, and we've just all been eaten alive by gnats and midges. Brian's defiling the countryside, there he is. Altering the plants, I've heard that one before. Oh, you'll know about it if there were. <laughs> Final destination for today has been Elk Viewing Point, which overlooks uh, Kilda Reservoir. And we uh, posed for a group photograph and got attacked by swarm midges. So we've all uh, We've all been thoroughly bitten to death by, uh, by midges up here and uh, well we got a good photo to end the, uh, end the, uh, the day. So now we've got to get down from here on this lovely bit of road which uh, none of them like and to be honest neither do I but a bit of fun in it. I just got to keep it uh, shiny side up as they say as we go down here and then once we get to the bottom of here a right turn and two minutes we're back to the hotel and that's look at that glorious view there of Kilda Reservoir and this is Elk Viewing Point beautiful what a lovely place and again this is somewhere that I'll definitely be back to see again. Oh. So that's our uh, end of our fourth day approaching now. And it's been uh, wonderful. Thanks again to Paul for organising it and meticulously working it all out. Puts a lot of time and effort into it, and he does a great job. And uh, long may it continue. This is a, the sixth or seventh year that Paul has arranged us a uh, a trip, and he's never failed to come with the goods yet. So thank you again, Paul. So we just got to get out of here. Just waiting for the last stragglers to come down the hill, and then. Uh, we're away. So here comes Kev, here comes Joe. I think that's everybody. Gotta keep these midges away. Joe's looking a bit red there. I don't know whether it's anger at me for taking him up there or the stress of actually coming down. Well worth doing. Uh, this is the last uh, couple of miles now down to the uh, to the Pheasant Inn. At the end of a really good day. Get in, shower, changed, quick clean up probably of the bike, get, kill the, get the bugs off it, and uh, then a pint, and then uh, dinner about 7, 7.30. So it's uh, coming up to quarter past five now.
Just have to be global, probably really you put your roof to get away from there. Just realise. That's flapping in the wind. We just want to be rid of that big use. And here we are. Back at the first pier. And we're parking our bikes on the left side, the same place we parked on the first side. Give it one try 